right, so here we have arrowroot. Uh, the Latin name is Maranta arendinaceae. It is a very prominent plant in South America and throughout tropical regions of the world. And it's commonly known for the starch that it produces, which you can see in the market is called arrowroot starch. Um, the roots are very high in these starches and there are some traditional methods for preparation that involve the beating down of the plant, leaching with water, and then pulling out those starches that's then turned into a powder used in manufacturing a lot of um, thickeners and emulsifiers in the food industry. So this plant has somewhat of an appearance to ginger or turmeric with these long leaves. It can grow in a lot of subtropical and into the south of the United States, but is native to South America, where its history with cultivation goes back thousands of years as one of the first domesticated plants. Um, the root can be used, but as it is, um, well, used as a, as a food, as it is a fibrous root that is not most pleasurable to be eating and, and chewing, it's more efficient to be making an emulsifier or um, a medicine of sorts. And bringing to that, traditionally, the roots of the plant of arrowroot have actually been used medicinally as something that is used as a poultice for different wounds, as something that's cooling for burns and cuts. Um, and helps to pull out any sort of infections or anything going on in those wounds. So here in North Carolina and through the South in the United States, uh, it's definitely something that we could be growing as an annual. We have had luck having the, the roots overwinter and still be um, fertile and able to sprout. And I think that it's going to be um, something that we can save a lot of generations of roots with while continuously having really abundant harvests here in, in North Carolina. Mm -hmm.